We all have our go to in a rush makeup routine, maybe some mascara and gloss, and maybe you're more into blush and lipstick look. Whatever the case, as we wrap up our fun week, we wanted to make over our makeup, refreshing our quick looks to get us out the door. I'm happy to have my old college friend, Steve Matthews, makeup forever stylist and Marcy Lane with us today. So good to see you guys. We've come a long way since we college, have. right? Yes, yes we have. And we're updating our looks. I think we, we all do that, right? Whatever oh, it is year. to get out the door. Yeah, yeah, and you know, it's a new year, it's a new decade. There's a lot of makeup trends. I know that YouTube, of uh, videos are very popular. Right. People see a lot of the stuff on Instagram. So I'm just going to show you a couple quick ways that you can really update your style and stay with the trends. Okay, so we're starting with eyebrows and this is huge. huge Everybody's category. into it. But you can go terribly wrong too. You <laughs> so. definitely can. So a couple reasons why we do brow is as we get older, not only does the hair on our head get gray, but so do our brows. They also <laughs> not you, Marcy. So not <laughs> yet. <yours> not. <laughs> no. uh, also thins out too. So what we want to do is really just uh, apply a little brow color. You can use a pencil like I'm using. Some people prefer a powder or a pomade, but just to really fill in. And what you want to do is really do natural hair-like strokes. Just so very that lightly. Way, yes. Yeah, exactly. You don't want to look fake. You just want to fill in. And I know a lot of people, you know, especially those who were grow up in the late 90s, uh, <laughs> we all thinned our brows out a little bit. Way Come too on. much. Right. And so this is one way just to give you back the natural brows you were born with and also stay a part of the trend. Brows are a huge category in the beauty industry right now. And so this is just one simple, easy, quick way. And you did that you update your look very quickly. And, and so picking the right color though has to be key because you don't want to go too dark or too light. You're you are correct. Yeah. So um, what you really want to do is find the darkest part of your hair. That's what your brows should always match. To. Okay. So if you're wondering and you're in the store, look at your hair. Our hair has a lot of different shades in it. So therefore, pick the darkest and go there. That's how people know I'm not a real blonde. <laughs> Same. Right? <laughs> Same. Um, okay. And so we're also talking concealer. That yes. helps a lot. So a lot of people have used concealer. Um, sometimes they don't always know where to put it. So Heather, I know you and I have talked before. About, um, yes. Dark circles are a major concern. Yes. So what we want to do is really take some concealer and put it right under the eye area, um, strategically placing it where we have the most darkness. Now, some people can really overuse concealer. Yes. That's not something you want to do. Um, another trick too, though, is some people just put their concealer under their eye. One time though, I got the pleasure of working with Oprah Winfrey's makeup artist, and he taught me how to do this right here, which is what he called the Hollywood U-turn. What that is, is really making sure that we're putting some concealer right here in the inner corner of the eye. I'm gonna take the beauty sponge that I prepped Marcy's face with before we started and just blend that in. Now, if you don't have a beauty sponge, a trick is that you can just close your eye for me. Uh, use your ring finger. Uh, okay. The reason we use the ring finger is because it has the least amount of pressure in that delicate eye area. We want to make sure we're not pulling at the skin. Now we're moving on to yeah. bronzer. Bronzer. Now bronzer, we're in the middle of, well, actually we're not in the middle of February. We're Almost. the beginning of February, but a lot of people think that that's not a product that you would always use. But bronzer is something that you can use any time of the year. It gives your face just a little bit of a glow. So you can see here we have a very light shade bronzer, and we're going to go to the places of the face where the sun would normally hit you. Um, to just kind of define it a little bit more. Okay. Now, if you are somebody who watches the YouTube videos, you may see contouring. That is a really big thing. Um, so really, it's just placing bronzer on the higher parts of the face, such as the temple, right below the cheekbone, or along the jawline. Okay. And I'm also going to teach you how you can use it somewhere else just to give you a little bit more uh, bang for your buck. Keep up a nice routine and uh, still be able to get out the door okay. in five minutes or less. Okay, and so, what do you do? what we're gonna do is now we're gonna take a domed eyeshadow brush. Take my bronzer like this, go around. Marcy, close your eye for me. I'm actually gonna go right here to the center of her eye, windshield wiper back and forth, and I'm actually gonna use that as just a little bit of a crease color. So therefore, we're not buying another product, but we're just using what we have Again, to make it quick, simple, easy, right. less products. Before we run out of time, I know that we also were talking about highlighters and just a simple gloss. Sure, yeah. So uh, we're going to use that same brush that we just used. 
uh, take it right here. Into some gold. Yeah. Gold a tones. Shimmery gold highlighter. Shimmer. We just want to make the face glow a little bit. So Marcy, what do you find that you like most about wearing highlighter? Highlighter, I think, has changed my makeup routine, and it just gives you it gives you a shine in the right spot, and it makes my Instagram selfies look amazing. <laughs> so much better. Yes. <laughs> um, That's what it's all. It's all for the gram, right? Right. Also, okay. take a little of your highlighter, pop it on the center of your eye here. And there, you have a little bit of eyeshadow. So, just and gives then, you a little glow. And last, we're just ending it all with a little bit a of little gloss. Lip. Who doesn't have a little lip gloss, a lip balm? Yeah. This actually looks very dark, but you can see, I'm gonna put it on, and it... it just gives a nice little yep. pop of color. Boom. Perfect. Done and done. <laughs> All right, so here are the final results. Take a look. Here's model Marcy Lane before C's quick makeover on the left and her final look just five minutes later on the right. My thanks to my friends for helping with today's makeup update. If you missed any of our makeover features this week, you can find them all online at PittsburghTodayLive.com. We had some great tips and advice that you can use at home. Let us know if you try any of them and how it helps. We'd love to hear from you.